Hi, welcome to Grace for Today. It is good to see you. I hope that you're enjoying this every morning and feeling blessed. If you are, go to Exchange Church Belfast on YouTube and just subscribe to the channel, please. I'm gonna say it every day until you do it. And also, if you're watching on, on Facebook this morning, why don't you like and share this? Because we wanna see the world transformed by God's grace. So let's get cracking today. I wanna to talk about a man under grace sees and appreciates his blessings. We've been talking this week about the difference between a cursed man and a blessed man. And, and it says in Jeremiah 17, five uh, and six, it says, cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength. For he shall be like a shrub in the desert and shall not see when good comes. I, I think this is really sad actually. And I think one of the, the saddest things about people who trust in their own strengths and in their own self-effort, who the, the word says here, who makes flesh his strength, is that they cannot see the good that God gives them when it comes their way. You know, as a pastor now for many years, I have seen through all sorts of situations, people who, even though they sit under God's grace and they sit under the message of grace and they hear these incredible promises from the Lord, they still won't put their trust in the Lord. When it comes to their jobs, when it comes to their finances, when it comes to their marriages, it's like they hear the promise time and time and time again. And just other areas where we actually, in our flesh, feel weak. And it's almost like, that despite the fact that they hear the promise of God and they hear the favor of God, it looks like they are determined to trust in their own effort. And, you know, you can look at this a number of ways. You know, they, they, it could be arrogance, you can call it self-centeredness. And th these people actually, what happens is I have seen that they start to get frustrated most often with the people around them. And so whenever the inner frustration that they feel because they're carrying this weight of responsibility that the Lord never asked them to carry, and even though they hear the word, they can become primarily frustrated with the people closest to them. You know, many a time when you observe people like this, you realize that they cannot see the good things that are actually right under their noses. Often they don't appreciate their wife or their husband or their kids. And even when blessing comes their way, because they are so wrapped up in, in themselves and being self-centered, uh, that they just miss the goodness of God all around them. You know, why is it? What, what does the word help us with here this morning? Why is it that sometimes we cannot see good when it comes our way? Well, the Bible here in Jeremiah is clear. It's because uh, people who trust in their own effort have no ability to see and receive blessings from the Lord. They only believe that in, in the good that comes as a result of what they do. And that's why the, the Bible describes that as pride. I mean, pride is not thinking that you're fantastic or thinking that you're absolutely awful. It's that those are two ends of the same stick. Actually, pride is simply about being self-centered as opposed to Jesus-centered. It's about centering on your own strength, your own effort, and not receiving the goodness and, and the unmerited favor of Jesus every day. You know, you'll probably notice this in yourself, okay? Or you'll certainly notice it in other people. You know, the, uh, people who are, who are actually quite self-reliant, you know, who are self-made, as I talked about uh, the other day, they, they don't often say thank you to the people around them. They, there's this kind of sense of entitlement. They, they feel like they are, they're, they're that good that they deserve whatever they receive. And so what you find is when we act like that, when we have a sense of entitlement in our lives, you know, you'll rarely be grateful You'll rarely be appreciative. You will end up taking your wife or your husband or your, your family for granted instead of seeing them as a blessing from the Lord. Now, let's contrast that because the Lord gives us this picture of people who are living under grace and living in this flow of unmerited favor. I, I think when we're aware in our lives that everything that we have comes from the hand of God, then I think that makes us you know, much more thankful. I think uh, we see this in, in people who are receiving grace. It's not about what do I not have or what am I working for? What am I earning? But it's in fact, people who are able to give thanks to Jesus. They're grateful. They're appreciative of the people around them. They're, you know, they, they appreciate what God has poured into their life. I mean, I, I often look around me as an example. I'm talking about myself here. And so you don't think I'm just talking about you, but I, sometimes I look around me and I cannot 
quite believe what God has done for me. Particularly when I look at my kids, when I look at uh, Ben and Hope and Sophie, and I think back to those times where we didn't ever know that we would have a family and it wasn't sure that we would be able to have children. And now looking at the blessing that those are, uh, those wee kids are, you know, and uh, you know, <laughs> they are a blessing. They're challenging too, and this family and all the rest of it. I'm not gonna pretend like we're the Waltons, but what I do understand is that was God's favor to me. And you know, if I had a, done you know something you know in that process and spent money and did this and did that and i probably have something in me that goes well actually that was about me doing that but i know in my life and penny knows too that that was just the favor of god that was unmerited favor to heal us and to, to get us to the situation where we have a beautiful family you see when you live under grace when you know it's god that did it when you know he moves his hand you will actually find that you truly enjoy the blessing around you because you know that they're undeserved. You'll look at your family different, you'll look at your friends different, you'll look at your church, this church, and all the other blessings that God has given you today. You know, see today just how much he's blessed you with all of these things because he loves you. And when, here, when you see them as blessings, what happens is Proverbs 10, 22 says that they will actually enrich your life. So that is my great encouragement today, is to look around your life and to be thankful and to be, to be grateful for what God has done for you from his hand. So let's just take communion today and as we start. And we say, Father, thank you for your love and for your goodness today. Father, we thank you for this body broken, this bread that tells us about your body broken for us so that we could be healed in our body, souls and spirit. And we receive, amen. And Father, we thank you for this cup. And we say, Father, thank you that your blood was poured out and all of our sin is was washed away in a moment. Father, once and forever, past, present and future, Lord, you've made us perfect. And it's all because of your gift of righteousness. So we say, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your work. So there we go. Don't live like a cursed person today, all right? Just be grateful to the Lord. If you're earning it, if, you're, if you feel like, you know, I just don't see the joy or the blessing in anything. It's because you're probably trying to earn stuff which God wants to give you freely so that you can be grateful to the one who is your source and your supply of everything that you need. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow for more grace for today.